It's made out of adamantium. It's what they put inside of us. That's why it can kill us. Probably what is killing me now. Anyways, I got this a long time ago and I kept it as a reminder of what I am. Now, I keep it. I was thinking of shooting myself with it, as Charles said. Hey, X-Men fans, I got some good news for you. James Mango, Logan's director, confirmed that he has been working on another script, and this time, a sequel. Stay with me until the end, as I have some really interesting news to share with you. Now, let's start with a short recap. It is clear, Logan 2 will be focused on Laura, or X-23 if you wish, who was played by the young actress Daphne King in the first movie. Logan was indeed released in 2017, but everything started way back in 2013. 20th Century Fox started the discussion with James Mangold in November 2013 over another solo film starring Wolverine. Hugh Jackman didn't even know about this at that time. He neither confirmed nor denied his reprisal of Logan. Jackman clarified that after X-Men Days of Future Past, his contract with Fox would need to be renegotiated. I do want to do it with Jim and with producer Lauren Schuler Donner because we had such a great experience. I'm really proud of the Wolverine from 2013, said the actor. Anyway, everything turned out great in the end, and we got a classic. Logan was a huge success. The movie grossed $226.3 million in Canada and the US, and $392.7 million in other countries, which makes $619.2 million in total. If you take the production budget of $97 million, this sure was a great movie. With an approval rating of 94%, based on 427 reviews on the review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, the movie got a rating of 8 over 10. Hugh Jackman makes the most of his final outing as Wolverine, with a gritty, nuanced performance in a violent but surprisingly thoughtful superhero action film that defies genre conventions, reads the website's critical consensus. With all that being said, I want to focus a little bit on the story and why this movie was so good. We have to admit that Logan doesn't feel like a modern superhero movie, which made it both groundbreaking and classic. If we take in mind that modern superhero movies, almost all of them, have relied on CGI, almost entirely of apocalyptic explosions, this felt like a breath of fresh air. Logan brought us fight choreography that's gorgeous and fluid, and not just computer-generated effects. And what is most important, you can definitely identify with some of the characters of the movie, which is not the case with the other superhero movies. With the scene in which the characters watch the film Logan calls back directly to Shane, but it has more echoes of late career movies like Unforgiven and The Shootist in a way that draws the line between legend and hero. Logan is a western archetype who wants to live out his days as routinely as possible, but before that, however, he needs to put away his six shooters. The uncanny X-Men comics exist in the world of Logan, meaning that Wolverine is like a celebrity or a retired sports hero, someone who was important but not essential anymore. We are in 2029, and at the end of one era, mutants have been hitting that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really, mutants have been removed from the human bloodline, and everything should look different. The movie breaks with Logan laying low and working as a driver. Normal enough, right? The tension starts when a group of tough guys try to steal his tires while he is sleeping in his car. He gets shot when he attempts to stop them, but we all know bullets don't do too much to Wolverine. Not only is Mangold's approach to action unique for the Marvel film brand, but Logan is the first R-rated iteration of this classic character. Often shot from low to the ground, we're close to the action in this movie, more like a born than a superhero movie. In the fight scenes, Jackman's work is smooth, but also character-driven, in that Wolverine style, which gives us a completely different approach to the character. Later in the movie, Logan also works in a few fantastic chase scenes, and yet it doesn't feel like the movie is making a break and stops for set pieces, as so many superhero movies do. Anyway, I'll stop here and give you a chance to re-watch the movie and prepare for what's coming up next. Now, let's talk about the future plans, release date, and the possible cast list. Theatrically released in the United States on March 3rd, 2017, but the first movie premiered at the 67th Berlin International Film Festival on February 17th, 2017. Since then, we've heard a lot of stories related to the movie and its characters. Logan became the best-reviewed film in the X-Men franchise, so it was clear that the creators will make future plans. Some critics named it the greatest superhero movie ever made, 
And with that financial success of 619.2 million worldwide, it's a surprise that we haven't seen the sequel yet. Anyway, there is no official release date as of yet, but I might have some interesting news for you. Hugh Jackman confirmed he is coming back as Wolverine in Deadpool 3, but he also said that this role won't undo Logan's emotional ending. This is not the first time. Marvel Cinematic Universe already did that with a different character's surprise cameo appearance. Ryan Reynolds revealed that Hugh Jackman would be there in the cast list of Deadpool 3, and that is official. But what would that mean for Logan? I don't really know. While the X-Men were under 20th Century Fox's jurisdiction, Hugh Jackman played Wolverine for well over a decade, and Logan was definitely the character that had the biggest impact on the X-Men films. He passed the button to X-23, or Laura Kinney, played by Daphne King, and both Patrick Stewart's Charles Xavier and Jackman's Wolverine were given heroic and emotional endings, a final moment of peace. Both Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart are smashing that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now. Both Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart are very much involved in MCU right now which makes us think that MCU might change the plans for the Mutants franchise in the future. As I said before, if the sequel ever happens, it will be focused on Laura and really believe that she could revive the interest in the X-Men franchise. In a 2005 comic run by Chris Yost, X-23's origin story was fully explored, but she first appeared in an issue of NYX by Joe Quesada a year before in 2004. She typically has a hot temper across comic book titles and maintains rocky relationships with other mutants. She's just the delusioned and rebellious mutant superhero that the studio will need to move on from the long run of X-Men movies starring Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. 20th Century Fox is one of the few, let's say real partners with Marvel, sharing the custody agreement and giving away the movie rights to their characters. With the most recent Fantastic Four in 2015, Fox has made a huge failure. But they also have 2016's Deadpool and a 2016 sequel, which scored big. And with all that being said, not having a Logan sequel would be silly. Legion was released in 2016, and it was an adaptation of a story for Professor X's biological son, which didn't actually include the Professor from the X-Men films. 2017's The Gifted was a mutant drama with the main focus on social commentary. All that combined with the expanding universe spawned by Deadpool tells us there is a lot more potential for new mutant spin-offs, and the idea of X-23's movie could definitely revive the franchise. Anyway, whatever the storyline would be, I really hope we'll hear some official statements soon. I'm not saying that Deadpool 3 won't be any good, especially with Hugh Jackman as a part of the movie, but Logan's return would very much make the fans happy. And what do you think? What will be the main focus of the sequel? Do you think Logan 2 will be released next year? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.